So it's uh, September 11th, and um, there's a lot of coverage about what happened this day 10 years ago, and I felt like <clears throat> updating. Um, I didn't know any anybody personally. Um, nobody in my family was at the site or anything like that, but um, I did know that some of my classmates had people there. And so, um, yeah, I was 13 um, in seventh grade, and I was in religion class when I actually figured out what was happening. And um, we had morning announcements at nine, or a little bit before that. Um, and um, during art, actually. And there was, we, the principal came on there and said, oh, it's terrible what happened in New York, and we need to play, pray for our country. And at the time, I didn't really think anything of it. Like, oh, something happens in like places all the time. Like, I don't know what's going on. But um, then I got to religion, and um, we figured out that, the, yeah, the towers and stuff had um, been hit and had... We watched news coverage on the TV, um, because our religion person, religion studies teacher, um, let us do that. Um, and then we finished out the day, I believe, um, I think maybe some people went home, but I think we finished out the day, and, um, then when I got home, I watched CNN and Fox and whatever else news source I could on the TV to figure out what was going on. And I remember seeing footage of the towers collapsing, and this was like, you know, a while after they had happened, because it was in the afternoon. But I was just like, wow. You know, like, I was really speechless, like most of the country was at that point. Like, it didn't really hit me until... A little bit, like a few days later, when all the planes were grounded, because we lived right by a, an airport, or one of, well, sort of, um, and it was very strange. The whole sky was just filled with, like, emptiness, you know? You're so used to having planes that, like, go over there that, you know, and, and to have every single one of them not be running, it was just very odd, and I felt very vulnerable there, you know, um, because, like, before I had, like, this ethnocentric view, like, I think most of the United States did, and how, like, the United States is, like, above everybody else, you know, and nothing can happen, because we're the United States, but, you know, and then it, it really brought my level of existence down, you know, like, my knowledge of my level of existence, and, um, then a few years, like, a year after that, I went on my first plane ride, and I, I mean, I hate, I have always disliked flying, but it wasn't until that time that I really disliked flying, because, I mean, I just freaked out on the plane, because I, I was thinking about all the people at the at the World Trade Center and how, like, I would be scared shitless if that had been my plane, you know? And so I'm just reflecting on that today. And I need to do homework, but I, I wanted to reflect on it because I haven't really done that. Um, and it's very strange to realize that it's ten years ago and it seems so raw still, you know, like... I remember it very vividly happening. Like, I was it, was... it was at that point in my life where I could remember stuff, like, really well, you know? Like, and really know what was going on. So... Yeah. So... I hope everybody else has a good day, and... If you had anybody in the... At the scene of the crime, when that happened ten years ago, I... I hope you're... Okay, and... You're making it through this day okay. So, all right. Take care.